Hi everybody. Happy Thursday. I almost said happy Friday, but nope. We are going live on Thursday today. Usually I do Friday, but my kids um, have no school tomorrow. It's Good Friday. So here in San Antonio, there are there's no school tomorrow. Hi, Denise. How are you? I'm uh, going to do a couple of little technology things here. And as you guys jump on, we're going to... Um, today is celebration finale. I'm calling it the finale. Hi, Shelly. Um, celebration has been going on for three months. You're probably tired of hearing me say it, but guess what? This is the only time of the year you get free stuff from Stamping Up. So this is the last chance, last chance. Um, celebration kind of has a really neat history. If you don't know, um, years ago, Stampin' Up! turns 30 this year, and years ago, um, I don't know how many years ago, but I think it was it was pretty early on, um, they were having financial struggles, and they were, they were going to have to, I believe, file bankruptcy, and they um, created Celebration kind of as a, a, a Hail Mary, if you will, for their business, and it totally turned the company around, saved the, um, saved the company, and now it's a yearly um, tradition that they do um, to kind of thank their customers. So in case you don't know, Celebration is January, February, and March, and with every $50 purchase you do, um, you get a free Celebration item. And some of the things are with a $100 uh, purchase. So just a little little history lesson there for you. Hi, everybody. I'm seeing all of you jump on. Happy Easter to you guys, too. It has been a great celebration, Shelly. I think so as well. Um, I get so excited for celebration um, every year. It's a great way to kind of come off that Christmas lull. You know, that, that yucky January time is, um, is hard, but celebration makes it fun. Thank you, Lisa, for sharing. Yeah, if you guys will share, I have a pri have prizes every week for people who shared the week before. So please share the video. That helps me find new crafting customers, new people who are looking for stamping ideas. Um, let's see, where do I wanna start today? Here are the three things we're gonna make. Um, I'm gonna move those to the side for a minute. Let me tell you, I have one more class this month before the end of celebration. It's the Petal Palette class, these two stamp sets. Boy, I zoomed in the camera today, so it's looking like it's really close up. Maybe we should zoom it back out, I don't know. Anyways, here are the matching framelits. This class, the deadline is Saturday, and they are fancy fold cards. Um, if you're interested in this class, the, there's link, a link on my blog. Um, here's a little sneak peek of some of them. I never made a video for this class, so I don't know if you guys have actually seen the cards in action. Um, but um, this would be my last class that offers a free celebration item uh, with the full kit purchase. So in case you were um, wanting to take advantage of that, this bundle is one of the pricier bundles in our catalog, um, but it is so worth it, it's so beautiful. That slides off, and then there's a little telescope in there. All right, so those are the Fancy Fold classes. Deadline is Saturday. Um, I do offer the option without the bundle, in case you already have it, and I offer just the PDF, too. All right, um, let's do, let's talk about prizes from last week. Last week was our baby week, so I had a baby stamp set and little one, and that's going to my friend Jeanette. She lives here in town. So I have your address. I'm going to mail that to you. Don't worry about it. And Joey Hartman, you are the second winner of Feathery Friends. And Joey, I don't think I have your address. So if you'll email me or I'll email you. I have your email address. But um, if you see this before I actually email you, would you please shoot me an email? Um, so those are the winners last week. Congratulations, ladies. I have three prizes for people who shared the video. These are, I have a bunch of these. I love them so much that I have been buying them every time um, I put in an order. I add a couple of these on. These are gl the glitter and clear epoxy shapes. Some are like in a raindrop size and then the other ones are, are little circles and I like them because they're little. Um, they, they add a lot to um, your project without being too bulky. All right, so here are our three winners. The only address I I have is Patricia's. 
if Shannon and Julie are watching, shoot me an email with your addresses. I may have them. I'll have to look them up, but it would help me if you would shoot me an email, Erica, with a C, at pinkbuckaroo.com. Okay, so I've been teasing it, you guys, and I have um, a big prize this week. You know what? I forgot to mention, I have a new phone, brand new iPhone. Hopefully, the video looks good. You guys can hear me all right. Um, so this is what I'm giving away this week. Do you know what it is? The Stamparatus. Okay, so if you don't know what the Stamparatus is, it's brand new. Um, I pre-ordered it. I pre-ordered it in December so that I could give one away to you guys. Um, it's not available for order right now. It was only available um, if you had pre-ordered in December. So I'm going to use it on our third project. You'll see it in action. It's a stamp positioning tool. And um, it will be available in... June in the new catalog. So I'm I'm hearing wonderful things from other people who have it. I've had mine since December. I was on the um, the team that helped design this product, so I was able to get one early, and I am in love with it. So I, and I'm hearing the same thing from people who are slowly getting theirs now. I know some of you had commented on my picture yesterday that you've gotten your Stamparatus, and I hope you've played with it. It's so fun. Um, but anyway, I'll I'll use this. I'll use mine in the third project, so you can see this. So how do you enter to win this? Go over to my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. Right now, the post that just went up is today's. Um, I almost said Friday. Today's Facebook Thursday post. And if you scroll to the bottom, you'll see it's a little widget called Rafflecopter. And um, you get one entry for each time that, or each little question that you answer. There are four there. Um, so for each answer, you get an entry in um, to the, the giveaway. And I will draw a prize. I will draw the winner for this next week. I'm very excited to give this away because it's um, exclusive. And uh, you can't order it. Well, um, my co-host, the UPS man, is pulling into the cul-de-sac. He is right on time today, but luckily he's pulling, he's, he's going around. I don't have any orders coming today, but I can hear my dogs upstairs. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to give away, I have some um, rhinestones. So those of you that are sharing the video, I'll draw some names next time and I will send you guys some rhinestones. Oh, I see Susan, you got yours. Have you played with it yet? It's so awesome. Okay, so... Um, let's see, if you have not joined me for Facebook Friday, which is today on Fa is Facebook Thursday, I do three projects, and over on my blog, there are product sheets, um, project sheets. So each project is on here, the dimensions that you'll need, all the score lines and everything is there for you, and all the product information, colors, cardstock, sizes, all of that, that you'll need for all three of these. So um, hop over there at some point, um, and save it and print it. Thanks for sharing, you guys. I do appreciate that a lot. Um, Karen, yes. Hello, dogs. I can actually hear them in the backyard. They're outside right now. Thank goodness. Um, and anyway, on here, there's a couple of other things. Um, the, again, with celebration ending, you guys, it's the last chance to join my team. Not the last chance to join my team, but the last chance to get two additional stamp sets in your starter kit. $99. Get up to $200 in product, free shipping. Um, and then a ton of benefits from being on my team. And you can type that in and go see all the benefits. There, there's the, the URL for that class. And I always give the PDF bundle to anybody who spends $50 or more. Um, one last thing I'm going to do this week as the end of celebration, I have some uh, paper shares. Everybody who orders... Um, Oh, Gail, you know what? Go enter the giveaway. Go enter it. I know. I thought it would be a really good giveaway, too, because you can't order it. Everybody who puts in an order this week by Monday night is going to get um, a celebration paper share. I've got both kinds of the celebration paper in here. This beautiful stuff that we all are in love with, the spring foils. You're going to get this with your make and takes um, as an added extra um, thank you during celebration. You guys have been very good to me. You've made my celebration very successful and I really appreciate it. So I thought I would share the love and give you guys some um, DSP. Um, Kylie Bertucci from Australia has a great challenge. She, call, she's, she calls it love it, chop it, I think. Basically use your paper, don't hoard it. So I'm taking Kylie's challenge and I am chopping up all of my extra paper and I'm sending it to you guys to share it because... Um, I won't use it after it's not, um, when it's not 
you know, um, current anymore. I can't use it, but then I don't, then it just sits there and I, and I don't want to get rid of it and I love it, but I'm like, you guys will use it. So I'll send it to you. So that'll be free with any orders. Um, I'm sorry, $30 or more using this hostess code. So, oh look, and there was a little tag for the Stamparatus and I, it just blew off. Um, so before we get started, one last thing, if you have not joined me for Facebook Friday slash Thursday before, um, I always send the make and takes for free with anybody that places an order by Monday at midnight using this hostess code. Um, $30 or more will receive the make and takes. If your order is $150 or more, don't use the hostess code because then you are earning stamp and rewards, um, free product, and I would rather you get it um, than me. So I will still send you the make and takes if your order is over $150. Just make sure you take advantage of that um, for yourself. Um, so for every $50, you'll get celebration of products. Okay, those are all the announcements today. All the things I needed to tell you. Let's start stamping. I have three really fun, fun projects for you. I'm going to start with a card today. Um, this card uses the Eclectic Expression stamp set, which is this one. And this stamp set came out in the second release. We had a, um, a second release of products um, in the middle of February. And I feel like because the Springtime Folds paper was super popular and this bundle was super popular, I feel like this one kind of got um, overlooked. But it is so good and I, I wish it would be a regular because of all the textures and just two, the two <laughs> greetings that I need 99% of the time are thank you and happy birthday and there they are. So I wanted to make another one last card with it and we're going to do some gold embossing. Um, I have used this stamp set a couple of times. We did this on Facebook Friday a couple of weeks ago. We made a, um, a little box and I call that the moon stamp. And we're gonna use that again today. Here's the first card that I made with it. I did a Facebook Live with this too, didn't I? I can't remember. I don't know, but I love this card. Um, I love the yellow and gray. And then here are a couple more. These are um, straight from the catalog, just um, case in the catalog. Don't forget to look at the catalog for samples. It's really an idea book. Um, on top of it being a catalog. So I, um, whenever I'm feeling kind of stumped for ideas, I go open that catalog and I look and see what I can use from there. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do, let me, I may jiggle the camera a bit, excuse me. The first thing that we're gonna do, I've got all my little stack here, let's do the embossing. Um, if you have never heat embossed before, it is a lot of fun because it has big wow factor. Um, it, it turns kind of magical in the, um, as you're heating it, 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 it turns kind of into a, met a metallic, basically. So this is a piece of Whisper White. Remember the measurements are all over there. Um, I'm reading your questions. I'll come back and answer you in a little while, Nicole, because I'll have to look. Um, this is the embossing buddy. The measurements for this are on the sheet, on the PDF. Um, the embossing buddy removes any static electricity that will cause your um, powder to stick in places that we don't want it to stick. So, oops, that's not the one we want. When you emboss, you're gonna use Versamark. And Versamark is just a clear ink. It's pretty sticky. That way that the those powders will stick to it. And it looks like, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I must have stamped something pink because my clear, quote clear, circles are a little bit pink. But you know, if you look at my Versamark <laughs> pad too, it's pretty dirty as well. So it could just be the color from the pad. All right, so we got some circles all over the white and here is my gold embossing powder. It's kind of a mess. I have it in a, um, in an old stamp case and I can see that there are even little paper <laughs> paper shreds in there and stuff. It gets used quite a bit. Ooh, and my fan is on. That's one thing you gotta be really careful of with that when you're doing this because this powder is very fine. See how it just stuck in exactly the right places? All right, now I'm gonna use my heat tool and it has, our heat tool has two settings and you wanna go to number two. Um, because the heat tool can get super hot and it can burn you. Um, and this, this heat tool 
When it came out a few years ago, I noticed that it wasn't quite as hot. And so it doesn't emboss things as quickly, but it also doesn't burn the tips of my fingers off when I'm trying to emboss, which is a plus. <laughs> so I really like this one. You can see as I'm going, hopefully, you can see how each circle is turning shiny. It's kind of magical. Let's see if I can do it so you guys can see. We have several colors of embossing powder. Clear. Um, what else? We have a glittery called Dazzling Diamonds. Am I, am I making that up? Copper. We have copper. It's really fun. Are you guys still there? Karen says she lost me. I, whoops, I can still see me on my iPad, so I think I'm still there. Who knows with the internet. Thank you for sharing, Marla. I appreciate it. All right, so there we go, and that's embossing. Done. Now, you can kind of see when you look at it, make sure that there's no um, dull spots, that you didn't miss any. And this circle is actually distressed. Um, where did my stamp case go? Hmm, I don't know. But it's not supposed to be solid. It's supposed to be kind of that distressed circle, which I think is pretty cool. All right, now we're gonna do, we're gonna go to the Big Shot in a second, but let's go ahead and put these down. This is um, powder pink card base and a crumb cake piece of cardstock, which I believe is if I remember correctly, four and five and a fourth, and then this one is a quarter inch smaller on each side, which would be three and three quarters by five. But go go print off or, or download, I have powder all over my work surface. Go um, print off those um, project sheets so that you will have it saved and you'll remember. All right, now another um, celebration item we're gonna use is this scattered sequins embossing folder. Let me move these out of the way. We're gonna use it, and it's one of our thick texture embossing folders. It's actually really a lot thicker than the other ones we have. And I realized I didn't get my correct platform, so let me grab that out of my drawer. When you're using, when you're embossing something, my magnetic platform lives on my Big Shot. I hardly ever use anything else, except for when I'm embossing. You've got to switch over to your regular platform because the magnetic platform is too thick. And because this is the thick plate, I'm um, sorry, the thick embossing folder, um, we're only gonna use one clear plate on this. So um, you can see the, hopefully you can see the sequins are um, more frequent up here and then they kind of go down. There's just a few of them down here. So I'm gonna put my heart that I cut out with the sweet and sassy framelits up at the top. Sweet and Sassy framelits are just our heart framelits. There's two different shapes of hearts in that little collection. And there you have it. It's so cute, they look like little, little sequins. All right, now I'm gonna take that platform off and go back to my magnetic platform. And we're gonna make this gold frame um, that I have on the card. And the way that you make a frame is just by nesting two framelits inside of each other. So I'm starting with a large stitched, cir stitched square framelit, and here's one of my, just my layering square framelits that fits inside. And you could, if you want your frame thicker, then you would choose a smaller square to go on the inside. You could even put a circle on the inside or a heart, however you want your frame to look. Let me pull this over. Oh, here's this, the stamp case. So we can save that for later. And when I peel this off, we have a stitched square frame. All right, let's put these together now. I'm gonna use a couple of glue dots. I need to look at my sample so I can remember what I'm doing. A couple of glue dots on the outer edges. And I put it, I think, off a little bit like that. Where's my, oh, my glue dot didn't come. Let's see, here we go. Get that glue dot, just stick it right under. There we go, and now let's use the little piece of Whisper White and the Happy Birthday Sentiment. And if you're looking for an ink that is close to gold, 
in my opinion, the closest to gold is soft suede. Hi, Joy, that's okay that you're late. Don't worry, we're on project number one. All right, so I'm just gonna stamp it right there. Am I out of this, the frame? I'm getting weird little messages on my on my phone. It's like, wave, bring them in to camera, wave. And I just, that's very distracting, Facebook. We don't need all that. All right, so I'm gonna cut these just at an angle, like that. And then let's put it in the center, like that. All right, now we can add that just kind of in the middle with a couple of dimensionals. I had to open a brand new pack of dimensionals last night and I thought, didn't I just open a brand new package? And I thought, yeah, you know, you probably did because you use them so much. All right, one, here's a third product that you can get during celebration for free. It's the gold 1 8 inch ribbon on this flyer. Remember the third release that they brought out this year? Um, you can also just buy this ribbon if you want other celebration products, but if you want gold ribbon, it's an option. This is great um, ribbon because it's skinny and it's light. All right. Hi, Luann, you need to email me. You won a prize last week and I don't have your your um, mailing address. I saw her jump on. Luann, send me an email with your mailing address. I have a prize for you for sharing the video. I'm glad I saw you. All right, so I just stuck that bow down with a glue dot and there you have it. That's a sweet little birthday card, don't you think? And that, um, I don't know, I just love those little distressed circles. All right, what do you guys think of project number one? Let me know. Show me if you like it with a heart or a thumbs up while I'm cleaning up this space. Here's, in case you're wondering, I have a tray for each project. It's how I try to stay organized. Most of the time I can uh, get everything I need on that tray, have it all set out. Cute and easy, Karen, right? Easy, easy. And if you didn't want to emboss, just stamp those circles in pink or soft suede and then you don't even have to emboss. I think that that would make it even easier. Okay, now here is our second project and I am using, thanks for the hearts you guys. It's always delayed so I, can, I can't ever see it right at the same time. You guys are giving me a lot of hearts, thank you. Um, so lots of lavender. How many of you have chosen lots of lavender in your orders so far? Um, this set is one of those um, where you stamp you can st you stamp the outline, but you don't have to color it. You stamp the other things in to color it. And it's lavender, so of course you should be using purple. That's your initial thought, right? So here is a swap card I got. That's like probably the intended colors. But you don't have to. Look, you can do, this is really cute with some corals in there. These are swap cards that I got. Here's another one with a darker purple. Very nice, it's Shelly. All right, so there you go, that was a swap. Now here's a project that I can show you, and I know you guys are gonna say, can you send me that tutorial? Well, I don't have the tutorial for this. This was um, a training event I did online for my downline, um, and those are exclusive to them. So I can't show you um, the actual project, it's a little drawer, but maybe I'll do something similar in the future to show you guys how to make the drawer. But anyway, you can see how I just added that on, put a little thank you, um, and there it is. So purple, 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 right? Lots of purple. However, when I was at Bath and Body Works, you know, because I go there all the time, I found these. And I have bought these candles before and I love the scent. Um, but I thought, ooh, I really like those colors. I thought right away, Crumb Cake, uh, Marina Mist, uh, Garden Green. I mean, those were like perfect. So I've had them sitting on my desk because um, I wanted to make something for them. And then I saw, oh, eucalyptus. And you, this is eucalyptus also. So why couldn't we pretend that this is eucalyptus? I don't know, is it too far of a stretch, you guys? What do you think? I think it could be eucalyptus, why not? And somebody today, Sandra, I think, she commented on Instagram on, said it could be blue bonnets. Here in Texas, we have blue bonnets, and I think she's right too. So it doesn't have to be lavender, okay? All right, so let me show you how to make this. Now remember, I'm not gonna tell you all the measurements, because they're over on my blog. Yes, I know, Crystal, every time I go to Bath and Body Works for like one thing, 
I leave with a ton of things I'm going to make projects for. They're not hand sanitizers, Shelly. They are, um, I'm glad you asked me, body wash and foam bath, bubble bath. Um, body wash because I actually had to look it up last night like look at it like what is it I, I thought it was soap but it's not hand sanitizer it's um like bubble bath or shower gel all right so we're gonna start with our simply scored oops sorry I didn't mean to hit the camera I hate when I do that I leave it plugged in because I'm scared it's gonna die and like I said this is a brand new phone so it shouldn't die but you just never know you never know so my cord is hanging over and I keep tapping it Okay, so over here are the measurements, right? So I have to look at them. We're gonna start with a piece of crumb cake. That is eight and an eighth. That's a weird measurement, you guys. And look, I think I even have it wrong. I have an eight and a half. It should be eight and an eighth right here. So I need to cut some of that off. Let me make a little mark. When you're doing eighths, that's an uncommon measurement. Um, usually we do quarter inches. But if you're wondering, if you are measurement challenged measuring challenged because i used to be before i did all this just remember that that little um tick mark after the eight is the eighth okay um okay so eight it's eight and an eighth by four and a fourth so just half sheet of cardstock um and we're going to score the long side at four and an eighth and five and a fourth because the bottle the reason why the measurements are weird is because the bottle is a little over an inch wide and I needed to make that in to fit it needed to be one and an eighth inch so that if in case you're wondering and then the short side we're going to score at one and an eighth and three and an eighth okay now take your scissors and cut up these short score lines right here Yes, you guys should go check out Bath and Body Works. I haven't been in there in a few weeks, and I'm sure there's all kinds of fun spring and the summer flavors that come out. I, I know, Target Bath and Body. I know, Karen, I know. It's very sad. I know. I have to pay cash or my husband's going to say, what in the world? <laughs> all right, so fold them all in, and let's just put a little bit of adhesive on the outside of these tiny tabs and put those on the inside make sure did I do that right yes okay now we're gonna fold this up like that and we're gonna cover it with paper I usually like to do these do this to the inside but we're gonna cover it with designer series paper so you really won't see those edges very much and I'm only going up about half of the way with adhesive here and then I'm gonna close it and fold it in so you could keep it like that you know what, I need a little more adhesive right there. You could keep it like this, but I love when my boxes have an angled edge. So I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna go from right here where they meet to that back corner. No need to draw a line, straight line or anything. Just take your scissors because it's a small spot and just snip it corner to corner. And there you have the angle. Awesome, right? Okay. So now here is our lovely florals. Is that what it's called? I forget the name of this paper. Fresh florals. Designer series paper. It comes um, in all the, the end colors, um, the 2017 to 2019 end colors. So this is Lemon Lime Twist. And I'm putting a little bit of adhesive in it. And I'm going to slide it right there to the back. I have embossing powder everywhere. I should have done the embossing project last. All right, and then here's the other pattern. And I'm going to start right in the middle. I'm not doing any score lines. I'm just gonna take it and adhere it right there. And then I'm gonna just wrap it around and as I go, I'm gonna pinch it so that it matches those edges. Um, whenever I try to score a belly band, it never comes out right. So I've quit trying, and now I just adhere, I just pinch and adhere. That way you know it'll be perfect. A little adhesive on the back. And this isn't a belly band in the um, sense that it slides off. This is, we're covering it all the way up. Okay, so then that goes right there. Perfect fit. All right, so let's make our eucalyptus tag. We're gonna stamp this eucalyptus, is what we're calling it, we're pretending. Um, these are, you actually need quite a few stamps from that 
case. Can you guys see all those? Those are all the ones that you need. And we're gonna do garden green as the outline. And I'm gonna do it right in the middle of my Whisper White. Okay, and then we're pulling out Lemon Lime Twist, which is that color of that paper and we're gonna fill it in. And this kind of gives it that watercolor wash look. And you can see how much I've used mine. My, um, my stamp is stained red because I've used it so much. Um, okay, now we're gonna do the leaves. What are you guys saying? I'm not, I'm not reading. You like that paper? I do too. Use a lint roller to pick up the embossing powder. You're so smart, Crystal. Crystal is one of my downline. Thank you, Crystal. That is a very good suggestion. I actually <laughs> ordered lint rollers from Amazon recently, and you can only order them like in an eight pack, so I have enough to keep one in here. That's a very good idea. You can pick up all the embossing powder. I'm sorry, Christy, I'm enabling you. I know, Bath and Body Works. And I'm not really even that into bath stuff. My kids are, but I'm not. Looks like I didn't go low enough right there. I wonder if I could fill that in. Let's see. If I just ink that little part right there. Well, it would have been good if I had done it in Lemon Lime Twist instead of Garden Green, but hey, we'll just, we'll just pretend it's a shadow, all right? <laughs> we'll, we'll put the bow on, right on top of there. Um, that was Pool Party that I did there in that on that bow. Um, and we're gonna actually cover that up with a real bow, but I wanted it to be seen, um, you know, cause you can see kind of behind it. All right, so wait a minute, which framelit am I doing? Yep, this one. All right, this is one of our layering ovals and it doesn't fit, which is fine. No problem, still works. Hi, Catherine. Yeah, I know I'm early this week. No school tomorrow and it's my daughter's birthday. And she has the entire day planned out for all of us. You know, the celebration never ends when it's somebody's birthday. All right, so we cut that out with a layering oval. And let me see which side is it. It doesn't really matter. This is a stitched oval using the stitched uh, shape framelits from Crumb Cake. And I'm gonna frame that right there. Now, this is the fun part, the hugs. These framelits are in the annual catalog. And they are called, I can never remember these either, lovely words. There's three different words, hugs, friend, and something else. But anyway, they're neat. When they came out last June, and actually we got to pre-order them, demonstrators get to pre-order, we were all over these. These were really fun. Um, so it has a circle around it, and you'll see, because it's going to cut a circle, um, if you want to cut a frame around it, just like we did with the the gold square, you would put one of your layering circles around it. But we only need the word, so we're not gonna do that. We're actually gonna snip it out. It's a really neat concept, these framelits, how they kind of um, cut out just part of it. That's not the whole shape. Because then you can do some really neat things. I'll show you as it comes out, like that. So if you use your oval, then you would have the, um, the frame. But I think that's really neat. You could um, even do that like on a card front or something. But we're just gonna cut the words out. And I used Garden Green to match that ink that we used at the beginning to outline our eucalyptus. I bet no one has used this stamp as eucalyptus before. <laughs> I don't know, I'm feeling like that's kind of a reach. I don't know, but I like it. I thought it was weird when I did it, but then I was like, you know what, I don't care, I like it. All right, now let's cover up my weird, my weird dark shadow there with some beautiful pool party shimmer ribbon. Shimmer ribbon is really, really good ribbon. Um, I like it a whole lot, and I we only have it, I think, in three colors, and I, I am hoping we get more colors in the um, the new catalog that comes out. Oh, good, it covers it perfectly. That The new catalog will come out in June. All right, so then that is going to go right there. Easy peasy. These um, would be easy to make a bunch of. I don't think that this is um, very cumbersome at all to make a bunch of them. 
Uh oh, video interrupted. I'm sorry, you guys. You know, it's the internet. It's pesky internet. When it comes back, when I upload it after I'm done, it'll be clean and um, there won't be any interruptions. Sorry. Okay, so what do you guys think? Cute, right? I think I'll send them right to school. I think the teachers will like them. Eucalyptus. So the, the whole point of this lesson is to tell you that just because it says it's lavender doesn't mean it has to be lavender, right? I mean, eucalyptus, you guys. <laughs> All right. Project number two is complete. Let's move to number three, our last one. Remember, you can get all three of these make and takes for free in the mail from me next week if you put in a minimum $30 order by Monday night. But if you want celebration rewards, you need to get that order in by Saturday night. Saturday night. Don't be sad that you forgot. Don't do that. Okay, now, I'm very excited about our next project because it is a case from one of my adorable downline, Brittany. She, this was our swap. I showed you our team swaps last week, but I had taken hers out because I didn't want you to see it yet. It's so cute. It's this little card with the epic celebrations, which I love this, you know, like enough by itself. But then I saw what she had done. She made a pocket in the back for Pop Rocks. Wouldn't a kid love that? But guess what? A gift card. A gift card, hello, would fit perfectly in there too. So that's where my project came from. These are her measurements. Mine's a little bit different. Um, but thank you, Brittany, if you're watching. I know Lisa's on here. Her mom was on here earlier. Thank you, um, Brittany, um, for the inspiration. Um, okay, so Epic Celebrations is one of the stamp sets that came out in the very beginning. I got to get a drink, you guys. I'm super thirsty. Hold on. Excuse me. Okay, and I love it. It's probably, it was probably my first celebration set that I used. Um, so I'm gonna show you a few little things. This project, I haven't shown you much of. Um, this was also for that same um, downline training that we did um, that I can't share tutorials um, from, but I think I've actually did a tutorial similar to this another time. Um, so if you look back at my blog, you'll find it's a gift card holder. But I, I always keep a couple of iTunes gift cards here at the house for birthdays because my teenager is constantly needing a birthday something for somebody, and it's usually at 8 o'clock the night before. So I keep these on hand. So when I saw the headphones, I grabbed one of those iTunes gift cards, and I copied the colors. So cute, right? So that is one of the projects that I've made with it. Here's a swap card that I did. She looks like she watercolored, beautiful, embossed. Here's another swap card, which has brush -o on it. And she also embossed and heat embossed, regular dry embossing and um, heat embossing. Now here's a project that was in the um, All-Star Tutorial bundle in January, I believe. And it's a gift card holder too. So if you want that tutorial, that's in the January tutorial bundle. I love those. All three of my kids wear these shoes, so I love it. Here's some brush -o. I don't know who did this. I wish I knew. It is a gorgeous card. It was a swap, um, and that's all brush -o, that amazing brush -o. And then here's one that was on my blog in January, too. Okay, so let's make today's project, because I have 20 minutes before I have to go get my kiddos. Um, okay, let's start... Let's start with this part. I decided to pair it with the sheet music background stamp. I love this. And it's so funny, I made a card with this for my daughter's piano teacher, Anita. I don't know if you're on here. And um, she um, was so sweet and she said, the, the notes are upside down when I put it on my blog. I was so embarrassed. But just to let you know, I mean, doesn't that look like, wouldn't it look like it should go like that? <laughs> so Anita, thank you for schooling me on the music so I won't ever I will never do that again because I could not believe I did that so if you look over here on this side that'll help you keep the, the stamp straight all right so Stamparatus this is what I'm giving away this week the stamping tool remember it has two plates so you can do double stamping these move down to do step stamping I'm doing a really really fun blog hop with um, 20 other Stampin' Up! demonstrators at the end of April. So be looking for that. We're gonna show you all different ways to use this. But remember to go over to my um, 
blog and do the raffle copter and I'll pick a winner next week. All right, so we're gonna start with a big giant piece of Whisper White and my grubby magnet that is wrapped up in a, several layers of washi tape. And we're gonna take the sheet music, big large background stamp, and I think it still has ink on it from this project, but that's all right, we're gonna use the same color. I'm gonna just lay it there, make sure it fits correctly and pull it up and let's ink it in lemon lime. I don't know if you guys can see. And I don't know if I put it on here backwards or upside down. No, I think it's right. We're gonna cut it down anyway. All right, so let's put some pressure on it all around. I love background stamps. And I love that the Stamparatus makes it easy and you can, See how I did that? It didn't stamp well. So I just went back and pushed it down because it stays in the same spot. You can keep stamping. You could even re-ink and stamp again. All right. So there's a stamp apparatus. We're gonna cut this paper down. Let me look at my notes. Cause this is, I made it bigger so that I wouldn't get ink all over my stamp apparatus. And, and plus I have some, some room to play here. We're gonna cut this down to two and five eighths by three and three fourths. Let's take the top off. Three and three fourths. And let's see, we'll cut this off. This side, two and five eighths. All right, there we have that. And you could use those other pieces on another project if you want. Okay, to make the pocket, you're gonna take two pieces of lemon lime twist cardstock that are three and three fourths by eight and a half. You're gonna fold them in half. And we're basically going to do this. See, watch. See how they're folded like that? We're gonna adhere them like that. Okay, can you guys see that? So let's put adhesive right here. Um, Lauren, I see your question, and I only do them occasionally um, because of time constraints, unfortunately. Um, blog hops are great, um, but I just, I just don't have the time to really do them. And I'm looking for my tear and tape, you guys, by the way. That's what I'm doing. I don't know where it is. Oh, right here. Okay. Because we need a skinny edge, skinny adhesive. Um, but I do like doing blog hops and I am still on the fancy Friday blog hop team, which is only once a month and I can't even keep up with that. So, um, the, the blog hop that I'm doing at the end of the month, the end of April is actually, um, Stampin' Up asked me to do it. So, um, that's why I'm doing that one. Okay. Before I move on, remember we've glued it in the middle and I've put adhesive here. This is going to make the pocket for the Pop Rocks. The Pop Rocks are not the normal size Pop Rocks. They are from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree sells them in packs of three. So I'm gonna push this down like that. So now, here's our card and here is our pocket. Oh, and I forgot to punch it. I forgot to punch it. Let's see if I can take it up a little bit. Arr, don't do what I did. You need the two inch circle punch, which, where did it go? I was just using it. Uh-oh, everything's across the room today. Um, before you adhere it, before you do what I did, take your two inch circle punch and punch right there. All right, let's see. I probably should add some more adhesive, but we're gonna move on. All right, so there we go. And this is where your Pop Rocks go. Um, the Pop Rocks come in a three pack. Mine are a little bit different than hers. So I designed my colors a little bit different. So there we go. All right, now let's put everything, let's glue everything down. Here is some of this Tutti Frutti paper. Oh, that would be cute too. Tutti Frutti paper, but we're using the black and white stripe. Hmm, looks like I cut mine wrong. I can't tell, it doesn't look like it fits quite right. Hmm, oh well, well we're gonna do it anyway. 
All right, there's that. And then we're gonna take this, but before we adhere this, we need to stamp that, that guitar on there. Yes, Crystal, I know the Dollar Tree, and I have one very, very close to me. My husband and I had run an errand on Saturday morning, and I said, can you just pull up to the Dollar Tree real quick and let me run in and get something? <laughs> and and uh, I was really fast, but I got like 12 things. <laughs> you can't, you just can't go in there and, you know. Okay, so see how I kind of did those all funky overlapping? That's um, how Brittany designed on hers. She, that's how she did hers, which I really admired how she did that. All right, and then we're gonna stamp it over here on white. And you're gonna need your good fine tip scissors to go around the outside of that black line. There's no framelit. That's okay, because this one's pretty easy. I'm not gonna go around all the buttons. I'm just gonna do a straight line down. No, Jeanette, you're not crazy. It, I had to do it a week, a day early today. You didn't lose a day. It feels like Friday though to me. It really, really feels like Friday. I guess because I won't really be working tomorrow. It does feel like a Friday. All right, there we go. Why do I have everything on the far end of the table over here? And I just realized that I did what I did not want to do. I used the wrong Whisper White. That Whisper White piece was supposed to go on the inside of the card. That's all right. It's not crucial. All right, so a dimensional there. We're gonna put that like that. So it's kind of a crazy mix. And then I'm gonna use um, one of, let's see, what did I use? <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I used a silver star, so I think this time we'll go with a gold star. These are the metallic um, enamel shapes. And here's to an epic celebration. Right there. Oh, I should have moved it over a little bit. That's all right. And we're gonna put it on here crooked. I like when things are kind of crooked and offset. You have them in Germany, Maxi Pop Pop Rocks. I loved Pop Rocks when I was a kid. Um, my kids hate them, hate them. And I'm, I don't know, they were so cool when I was a kid. All right, so the inside, I had cut a pe that piece of Whisper White to do this, but I stamped my guitar on there. So instead of doing that, I'm just going to do like this. And I'm like, hey, you know what? That works. You can write your little message in there. The last thing that I did is I cut a circle for, here it is. Nope, that's not it. Hmm. Well, I did cut a circle to go around. See how I did that right there? And I used the stitched circle. I will find it after the video probably. But anyways, just cut a circle. And you could even use your two inch punch and um, adhere that on there. But I kind of like the way the stitching looked. And so you put that, fold it in half, put it on your Pop Rocks, and that way they can pull it out. You could even attach the, the little gift card under there if you wanted to, too. All right, so there is project number three. You know why I think that that paper was wrong? Is I think my green, yeah, look at that. I cut my lemon lime paper too big. Hmm. Oh, well, it worked. It worked. All right, so you guys remember that this project sheet with all the project information is over at my blog, pinkbuckaroo.com. Um, it is live there, hopefully right now. Hopefully it went when it was supposed to be scheduled. Um, we made three celebration projects today with lots of different celebration items. And uh, the card has gone missing. Oh, right here, right on top. Um, one more time, I'm just going to remind you, stamp, uh, celebration ends Saturday. Um, if you want any of these items for free, you got to put your order in by Saturday night. Here are the three different celebration offerings. Um, if you go to, 
stampinup.com and click on celebration. You can see them all there online easier than, than looking at three different brochures. So go check them out, decide which ones you can't live without and get those orders in by Saturday night. If you want my Megan takes for free, that order has to be in by Monday night. Um, and remember, if you would like to uh, win the Stamparatus, go over to my blog and enter for that. If you share the video, your name will be entered for a drawing um, for some sequin, um, yeah, sequins, right? No, jewels, rhinestones, <laughs> rhinestones. And the last thing I need to tell you guys is that there will be no Facebook Live next week. I am leaving um, to go to Fort Worth for Stampin' Up's convention that we call On Stage. Um, and I won't be here Thursday or Friday. So no um, Facebook Live next week. Sorry, guys, but when I come back the following week, we'll be back to Friday, and I'll have, hopefully, all kinds of new things because we get the demonstrators who are going on stage get the new catalog next Friday, the big annual catalog. So make sure you join me. Um, what is that, the 13th of April? Goodness, that feels like really far away. Um, but that will be the next time that I have live. Um, I'm going to scroll just real quick because I did see a couple of questions. Um, Lois, the, the project sheets are always under the last picture. The third picture right there, there's a link that says click here for the project sheets. And I use the same form for my post every week. So they're always in the same place. Um, so I'll be in Fort Worth. Um, Crystal, again with your good ideas, great Father's Day card, Pop Rocks, that's cute. Um, are any of you going to be in Fort Worth at the onstage event? Let's see. I'm just looking to see if you guys had any questions. Thank you for sharing the video. That does really uh, mean a lot to me. That does help me um, find new customers, and I do greatly appreciate that. Um, I, I should get a little, um, what do they call it? I should get, I should be tied to Target and Bath and Body Works. Like they should give me, um, commission on <laughs> all the people I sent over there. All the crafters. All right. Well, I think that's it. If I see anything else, I'll, um, respond to you in the thread. Goodness, there's a lot. All right, you guys have a wonderful Easter, Good Friday, and I will see you on the 13th. Thanks so much. Bye.